Elizabeth Philippe Marie Helene of France was born on the 3rd of May 1764 at the Palace of Versailles. She was the French princess and sister to King Louis the Sixteenth. Her parents were that of Louis Dauphin of France and Duchess Maria Josephina of Saxony. When her father died unexpectedly, her eldest surviving brother, Louis Auguste, became the new Dauphin and French heir to the throne. And only two years later, her mother also died from tuberculosis in 1767, leaving all of her surviving children orphans. As orphan daughters, they were raised by Madame de Marsen, governess to the children of France. The two sisters' rivalry and jealousy started at their school, where her sister became the favourite for her infectious happy disposition, whereas Elizabeth was uninterested, as there were always people at hand whose duty it was to think for princes. And she treated her staff with intolerance. Their relationship did improve when Elizabeth became so ill that her sister willingly nursed her back to health and in the meantime she helped improve her alphabet and education. Although the teachers in Madame de Marsan preferred her sister, Marie Antoinette, who married her brother in 1770, said she preferred Elizabeth, which was great for her ego but offensive to the court. Her sister was married off to the Prince of Sardinia and she left France in 1775, leaving her Elizabeth heartbroken. Madame Elizabeth did not play an active part in the court. She viewed it as a threat to her moral welfare and so purposely distanced herself from it. She only attended when the Queen requested it and it was absolutely necessary. In the order of the 1st of August 1793, Elizabeth was to be banished from France rather than be tried and condemned to death, like the likes of Marie Antoinette. However, in May 1794, she was arrested and transferred to the Conservatory by order of a French prosecutor, where she was trialled and interrogated by Judge Gabriel de Lige. They accused her of working secretly with Marie Antoinette, by arranging councils and working against the safety and liberty of the French people, by funding the war against France with her diamonds and much more. Elizabeth wholeheartedly denied the accusation, stating that she knew of no secret councils and that she had no contact with enemies of France. After this interrogation, she was placed into a single cell, where she refused a public defender, her lawyer wished to see her, but was refused, as he was told that there was time before her trial. But this was false, and he was given no time to prepare for her trial, that happened the following morning. There were twenty-three other men and women accused with her, and the jury found them all guilty as charged, and sentenced them to death. Elizabeth was taken to the Hall of the Condemned to await her execution, and while there she called out for Marie Antoinette, but she was told that her sister-in-law had suffered the same fate that they would. Elizabeth used the strength she gained from her faith to calmly improve the morale of those around her, and on the cart ride before their impending execution, she recited religious texts to several of them. When she arrived, her white kerchief, which was covering her head, was blown off, and it drew attention to her bare head. Despite this, she appeared calm and collected. Elizabeth left the cart first and refused the help of the executioner down from it. She was the last person to be executed, so had to witness the death of all 23 other people. Elizabeth bowed to each one with respect and encouraged them to trust in God, and they responded with great courage. When the last person before her, a man, gave her his bow, she said, Courage and faith in the mercy of God, and she was next. Her shawl fell off, exposing her shoulders, so she asked to be covered by the executioner. Bystanders were emotional at this occasion. She was well respected and people were disgraced by it. Elizabeth, who was only 30 years old, a week before her death, was executed because she was the king's sister. She was buried in a common grave at the Eresus Cemetery in Paris. During the restoration, her brother Louis searched for her remains, but all that was left were decomposed bones. The remains were later placed in catacombs of Paris, 
a medallion represents her at the Basilica of St. Denis. Please comment, like and subscribe if you wish for more stories and leave your suggestions below and I will endeavour to cover them.